My life changed when I started using MidJourney for my projects. It helped me so much. But signing up and registering for it, uh, it can be a little confusing and a bit of a pain in the butt. So I made this video to help you out. You need two things in order to use MidJourney. First, you need Discord in order to access and use MidJourney. And then you also need MidJourney. So you're probably asking yourself what I was asking myself when I began is, what is Discord? Well, Discord is basically a chat. That's all it is. You can share videos, you can uh, share images, but you can also connect to companies through this and have community chats and more. So think of Discord as a hub that contains MidJourney in it. So let's go with step one, signing up for Discord. You want to go to discord.com, then in the upper right-hand part, you'll see Login. Left-click on that. A new window will open up and down below you want to left click on register. This is where you'll type in, of course, all your information and then press continue at the end. You'll have to do the annoying are you a human test and after that you'll have to verify your email address. So check your email after you've gone through this step and confirm everything that you get emailed to you from discord.com. You'll also see the option of download for your Mac or download for your PC, the desktop version of Discord. I highly recommend you do that. It is the easiest way to use Discord is using the desktop app. So sign into Discord online and then head over to midjourney.com. Once you're there, you want to go down into the bottom right of your screen and left click on login. This should automatically ask you to link to your Discord account, but if it does not, left click on sign up and go through those steps. So I'm going to left click on continue with Discord and you can see that I'm going to authorize it. And once I've left clicked on the button authorize, it's then going to take me to the Explorer page of MidJourney and you can see images from other people. But now we need to actually pay for a subscription. So in the bottom left hand corner, left click on the little person, which is your account and left click on manage subscription. And here you'll find your yearly billing options or your monthly billing options. So it's only $8 a month if you pay annually. If you want to switch to see the monthly billing options, left click on monthly billing and you can see it's $10 a month. This is in US dollars. Now you might be wondering which one should you do? I have actually been using the basic plan for the past year or so and I have no complaints. So I highly suggest just do the basic plan even just for a month and see if you don't need a more extended plan. Now open up the desktop version of Discord. Once you're there, on the left side, you should see the symbol for the server for mid-journey. It looks like a colorful sailboat. Now, before you click on that, though, we're going to add a separate server. The thing with mid-journey is you can actually create images within the chat that everyone else is talking in, but you really don't want to do that. It's kind of a mess. So you want to add a separate server first and then add mid-journey to that. So you're just creating your own images and nobody else's images or chats come up. The good news is we're in the home stretch. This is what you need to do. Over on the left hand side, you see the green box with the white arrow. That's how you add a server. Just left click on that and it'll ask you what you want to do. So I'm going to left click create my own. And then I'm going to left click for me and my friends or you can skip this question. And then I'm just going to name my server and I'm going to name it mid journey. You can name it whatever you want and I'm going to left click create. Once that's done, you can see it over on the left hand side. It's the M and now I need to connect mid journey to that. So I'm going to left click on the mid journey server and over on the upper right hand side, I'm going to left click on the members list and then I'm going to scroll down to mid journey bot. Once you've left clicked on mid journey bot, it's going to come on up and you want to left click add app, then add to server and then choose your server. I'm going to choose my mid journey. I'm going to left click continue. Then I'm going to authorize and I'm going to prove that I'm a human. And that's it. So I'm just going to close this and over on the upper left hand side, you see the M my server I created and it should be connected to the mid journey bot. So I'm going to left click on the M and in the little chat window in the center bottom, I'm going to try a prompt. And in another video, I'll show you some basics on creating images. So this is just a way to demonstrate that this has all worked. And there you have it. That's it. So it's quite a few steps just to get here. But once you're here, life is sweet. And if you're like me, you're going to absolutely love it. It saves so much time, it's efficient, and saves me a ton of money. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and comment. It takes a lot of work to make these videos, so I'm really grateful for everyone's support.